So in this second video, um, I want to explain to you how you can use Breeder for absolutely no cost. Once you have subscribed, uh, every Sunday evening I automatically send out an email and when you open it you get a screen that looks like this. And you have here the, the logo of, of the Breeder Journal, you have the week, so this is the current week, week 16. And then you have an overview of the articles, so how to be an Alsatian, the Tour de France project that I've been doing, um, some smaller articles, a recipe, the crossword, and the supermarket. Then I usually say a thank you to the contributors because Breeder is a journal created by learners of English for other learners of English. So I have Genevieve who lives here in Cleborg and she and I have been doing the Tour de France together and Monique and Bernard who live just a few kilometers away um, are working on a project on the Alsace. And then you scroll down <clears throat> and then you see uh, a series of, of articles um, and you can, there's a, usually a nice picture, then there's a, the, the headline, how to be an Alsatian, then I start with the text and then there are some categories. And then we continue down, we have the stage 13 of the Tour de France. Um, then I have a section called Breeder Classifieds. I'll explain that in another video. Um, and you continue down the cooking recipe. There's a Breeder Supermarket with its special offers every week. There is the crossword. Then there is something uh, here which I call the Breeder Bazaar, which is not online. It's only on the print version of the Breeder Journal. Um, then some of the small companies that I work with. And then at the bottom, you can click on this button here and you get the print version of the, uh, of the Breeder Journal. So there are two versions available, the online version. And if you want to print it out, download it and print it out, then there is the print version, so the layout is not very exciting and there are no pictures because um, I just basically don't want people to waste a lot of ink with pictures. Um, ink is expensive. So you can scroll down here and you see all the different sections and here you see the Breeder Bazaar. Now, <laughs> this is the one part where I do um, include pictures. And I take an advertisement from maybe 40, 50, 60 years ago. I write out the text and then I take, if the company still exists, I take a modern advertisement. And it's just a nice way to, to improve your English because many years ago there were more texts in advertisements than here. Then you have the crossword um, with the clues and the solutions of the crossword from the week before. So you can always find out how you went. Then um, the program that I offer, and then the impression, so the details about why well, I legally have to do that, who I am, where I am, and any sources. So that is the print version, and depending how you use it, you can download it, um, or you can look at it online. As it's a PDF version, as you can see here. So we go back to this. And so you've received this, this text or this, this journal, and you want to have a look at, oh, maybe you're interested in the How to Be an Alsatian article. So you click on Read More, and it takes you to the article. Now up here, you can see a whole lot of other things, um, which I'll explain to you later. So just, just focus on the, on the article. So again, you have the picture. And then you have the, the text written here. So there it is. Um, I do include exercises. I'll come to that later. And if you have a comment, yeah, 
then you can write your your comment here and you can do it in two ways you can either write in your native language and then have it translated and copy and paste the the um the the text here or if you feel confident enough you can write it directly in english and then you can evaluate it you have to click on the data protection agreements that we have in europe and then you click on send and what happens is that uh, this, this is an external form and it is sent to you automatically and it is sent to me and then I get a comment from anybody who reads the article and that means you can actually improve a little bit your writing and I will send you a correction um, just to say thank you for the comment and also ask you if I can publish the comment. But that's not all. So here you have some writing skills. Then you have the text, so that is a reading skill. And if you have somebody, something like this here, Monique and Bernard, then that means that it's not me who has written the text, it's somebody else, a student or a colleague or somebody who is learning English. Yeah. Um, has written this text, of course, with my support and with my, with my guidance, but basically the original text is that from Monique and Bernard. And if you click on this button here, you can listen to it. How to be an Alsatian. And Monique then and Bernard, you can listen to, to my wife, who is English. The main thing about being and an Alsatian you can listen and read at the same time so you can also just focus a little bit on the um, on the pronunciation now Who is speaking the dialect so let us just go back so so that is the so and then you can continue and then you can say oh I'd like to have a look at this this piano player at thing so you click on that and again, you see the picture. And now here, the text is much, much shorter. And again, the text is read by my wife. There may or may not be a link to a lesson. Yeah. But you can actually continue exploring this database because there are about 150 different articles now available. And there are several ways you can do this, yeah? So you can select categories, yeah? So Alsace articles, arts, Azerbaijan, book review, classifieds, job center, business. Just have a look through here. And if there is something that you find interesting, then you can have a look at that, yeah? Um, so um, let's say we are interested in Alsace. You click on that and it brings up here category Alsace, how to be an Alsatian, and then you have the text and the comments, then Tommy on tour, and then you have the text and the comments, like so, and the story of a song. So this is um, a friend of mine who is a musician and he talks about some of his music, so it's local. And there are also links to videos, so you just click on the, you just click on the, the thing, and then you can, you can listen to that. And it just continues on and on like this. So that is one way of looking at different articles. You can go by month, so it goes back to September 2019. That's when I started the Breeder Journal in its current form. It's a little bit older than um, than uh, September, but uh, you can see that every every month since September 2019, you can have um, a look at what has been published. But you can also look at Breeder Classifieds, for example. And you click on that, and it brings up all the breeder classifieds. So it's another way of finding some of them. So we have my piano player, we have the unplugged, we have who are you, we have a ride share, 
Now, what are these breeder classifieds? These breeder classifieds are little advertisements that I pick up in from different sources around the world. And these are actually real advertisements that, um, that people have posted a long time ago because they then just disappear into, into nowhere. So, for instance, this here, alone again, yeah, it's about, um, uh, this is the real text, dear, yeah, I'm 39 years old, blah, 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 blah. The only thing I have changed is the phone number. I, this is a French-style phone, phone number. Uh, and then, of course, there will be some um, advertisements or some lesson material to do that. Okay, so um, you just do a lot of different possibilities and... Because these are advertisements, the topics are really, really different. Yeah, there's no two, no two advertisements are really the same. And then you just click through like this. And then, for instance, the question is, I want to do an exercise. And that is what I will explain to you in my next video. Okay. Now, if you want to have a look at the print versions, you can click on print version here. And you can there <coughs> see uh, I have downloaded or sorry, uploaded all the print versions starting in September 2019. Um, and then you can click on one. Now, I hope all of them are OK. Yeah. So let's say, for instance, March 2021, calendar week 11, 14th of March, the 20th of March. You click on that. And there it is. Yeah. And then you can download that and play with it and read it, etc. Okay. So again, that is um, one way of looking at it. There is also the looking, you can see uh, the contributors. So people who have written, um, who have written to the Breeder Journal or for the Breeder Journal in, and I look at, you have the names and then you have where they live. And then you can click on the link. So for instance, um, let's just take, for example, Kayvan, who came from Iran and now lives here in France. And he talks about the Damavon Peak. So if that interests you, you click on that and it takes you to the article. And again, you have exactly the same structure. The title, the text read by Mary, the text here. Uh, there is an interactive exercise. You can write a comment like so, and then go back to wherever you want. Okay, so plenty of material, plenty of, of ways to learn um, or to improve your English, and all of this does not cost you a cent, a penny, or whatever currency you use. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit, and in the next video I will explain to you um, that you can do some exercises and how you can then become a paying member of the breeder community. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you soon.